Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where you talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. And we got Sabrina in the house. Hello. Woo, Lego. And for those of you who are riding the metro across the country and noticing people weren't wearing pants, it wasn't a mistake. It's No Pants Metro Day. Check it out. Well, people should be wearing pants on the Metro today, but that wasn't necessarily the case yesterday, and that's because it was the 12th annual No Pants Subway Ride. 12th annual? I've never heard of this. <laughs> I know. How I is this a thing? <laughs> and I, I used to take the Metro. I've never... I mean, I see people that don't wear pants, but not, like, officially. Why? <laughs> Hundreds of riders ditch their pants. It kind of gets in the way of your, like, afternoon commute. Because yeah. you have to sit down, take off the pants. It's a whole... And it's also kind of unsanitary. Yeah, I hope they're not sitting down on those seats. Said they rode around in their underwear, and it wasn't limited to L.A. What is that? Oh, that's Halloween that's on the a metro. Whole, like metallic outfit. People stripped to their skivvies in cities around the world. Look at that guy <laughs> in the back. He looks like he's about to do some like aerobics or something. Well, he has Hold like on. a mask over his face because he doesn't want to get sick, but he's oh. also not wearing pants, <laughs> which is also very unsanitary. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. And then we have footage of No Pants Day in New York. Check it out. Oh, they do it in New York too? Oh, they, oh yeah, they do it it's all. It's like a national yeah, thing? Yeah, they do it all across the country. Oh, oh, my man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my. Do a chain hang low, do it wobble to the flow, do it shine in the light. Is it platinum? Is it goat? Is that like a <laughs> jock strap? So some people just using this as an excuse for Halloween. Why? Oh, they the, got the face paint. What is that? that I'm creepy. scared. Look, look at this dude trying to be like slick. <laughs> you know what? Eye contact. <laughs> She, she put her tongue out. She said, oh, 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 I like that. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I like when you got your undies on. Like, yeah. Why would you take videos of people with no pants on? Like, <laughs> I know I'm married, but yo, this, these are my thrills. These are my thrills. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's a cute jacket, though. It was, it was mm -hmm. a sisterhood of the traveling no pants. <laughs> Aren't they cold? Like, uh, uh, that, yeah. That, what? That, that's one of the biggest things. Like, why we have it in January? Like, like everyone's wearing beanies. Summer? Like, they're wearing beanies and then no pants. Girl, why are you sitting on that bench <laughs> without oh pants? God. No, no. You know how many people sleep on that bench? Like, oh no, girl, you better go wash yourself. Look at oh. that. We got the baseball players. Yeah, that's like Yo, this brother's like, <laughs> He's like, what did I walk on to today? Why'd I have to use the Metro today? Damn. <laughs> and then we have some entertainment. Disperse! Police! <laughs> yes. Oh. Can they drink in public? <laughs> I'm scared. She's drinking a bottle of wine? What is that? I feel like this just brings out a bunch of perverts. Yeah, like that guy in the red. What's he doing? <laughs> Man, he has a professional camera, is, is like, it, out. Is it, is it, I'm going to zoom in on that. Oh! Ooh, neon! Yeah. My brother. Ooh, man. Ooh, I know a friend that would love that outfit. Hold on. Oh, no. Look at that. Look how, look how red her butt is. They've been smacking that butt all day. Oh, my God. That's a real bat, too. Instagram pose. Oh. oh. Look at that. Work it. <laughs> Need a glass of water. Huh? Okay, my man. Who oh, man his, is this? His bulge is there. Look wow. at him with his like sweat. He just came out of like the library or something. Yeah. Okay, oh, what's no. going on here? <laughs> Do these people want to have places to be? <laughs> That's what I was saying. They're just hanging out underground with no pants on. Whoa, hold on. Okay. Man. <laughs> Oh my oh. god. Oh, I did not even see that. That is inappropriate for TV. So yeah, that was uh, <laughs> another day in New York. <laughs> and speaking of New York, there was also a water main break in the Upper West Side that flooded all the streets. El Matatsin, bro, why did I come to work to find a fire hydrant burst of the whole block full of dookie water? Dookie water. <laughs> Excuse my voice. Ew. Look, oh no, nah. look at this. Look at this, bro. bro. Crazy, crazy, nah. All right, so a fire hydrant just bursted. Bursted. And I got El Rio de <laughs> or whatever. We, we got some river. I need to split the seeds. Split the seeds? Bruh, the bus was not having it. That bus is supposed to stop right there. This That's is sad. crazy, bro. Bro. You see bro. that? Son. Son, bro. Can I go home? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, okay, the thought, way this man was talking, you know you didn't think he looked like that. I thought Definitely he was, not. No, somebody else. 
So stay dry and why? Now we all know Taco Bell's slogan is live Moss, but one burglar in Georgia took it to a whole new level. Bizarre breaking at the Taco Bell down in Georgia. I like how he has his headphones on. Like, what are you listening <laughs> yeah, to? Yeah, those are some nice headphones. Wait, what do you think he's listening I to? I don't know. I think it'd be hilarious if he was listening to like Me? some Britney Spears song. Like Jason Mraz. Like, oops, I did it again. Like, 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 oh yeah, like oops, I did it again. I'm at Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm ready to sin. I don't know. Whatever. Ready I'm ready to sin. sin. I don't know, man. We just oh, remix, yeah. remix. Talk about I'm a slave for you. I'm a slave. And he's just like eating the cheese. I don't know. There's a guy. He climbs in through the drive through window. This is Christmas morning, by the way. So he goes inside. He turns on the fryers. Oh. Makes a meal there. He oh, just oh, how to do that. Nah, he looks like he works at Burger King or something. Nah, I, I think you're right. I think he's like a former employee. Yeah, oh. like it is an inside job. There's no no way yeah. anyone would know how to use that equipment. And how did he know that he could go through the drive through window? Before eventually he takes a nap, oh. just laying right on the floor. He took a nap? What's what? in between his legs? Because you know sometimes when you when you sleep, it's easier on your spine if you have something Wait. in between your knees. Uh -huh. Oh, so and he I, was thinking about his I, spine when he did yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> so I think he took like some chalupa bread and just kind of put it between chalupa his knees. Chalupa bread? No, no. After, after he ate, you uh -huh. know, he wanted to take a nap. Oh, he had the itis. Exactly. Taco Bell itis. Okay. I've had that before too. Now in this day and age, everyone's all about flexing. But check out this new flex challenge with this extremely flexible woman. And you're gonna go put your hands behind your back. And with getting up, you can't go on your side or your back. Try getting up. Oh. What? Whoa. What? Girl. <laughs> How did. What? That was swift. Okay. Magic. That was magic. Not her I wanna first try radio. that. Yeah, my fellow crack detectives here are gonna actually try out the Wait, flex challenge. Crack detective. You know, crack detective? Yeah, like, crack. You find the crack in the case. Oh, oh see, see, about see, the I to, see, I have to explain yeah. everything. You that see this? I just <laughs> take it for granted that figure of speech is universal. Anyways, whoa, that's not good. <laughs> I feel all the cracks. Whoa. Anyways, <laughs> and here's Jules' attempt. <laughs> I was like so excited. It looks so easy. And then. She like swooped herself. She like swooped herself. Did you hear that? I know. I saw something <laughs> cracked. I was like, uh oh, I, I, don't, it, ha I don't have insurance on set. I, Oh, oh, almost, almost. Oh, oh, oh. And here comes Sabrina's attempt. <laughs> See, oh. right? You feel like, oh, I can yeah, do this. And yeah. then all of a sudden, it just stops. Why do I keep bending my knees? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't, it looks like an exotic crab, like, dance yeah. or shit. But what am I doing? That's so scary. Oh Ooh, look at that. Like the exorcist. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. Now, next time your mama says, don't try this at home, you should probably trust her. But a man from Thailand had to find out the hard way when he tried to manufacture his own sex toy and his penis almost fell off. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> this article is aggressive. Rot. <laughs> Capital R-O-T-S. But yeah, so I guess his personal sex toy used a metal pipe. But it's so crazy that he got stuck for five days. So I'm just wondering, like, so he called off work and I'm wondering what he had to tell them at work. Yeah, that's a lot of days. Like, that's almost a week. Like, how'd yeah. you, you just peed in there? Like, how did, oh, what? Yeah. Oh. Were you trying to, what, we weren't even trying to get out. Well, yeah, oh, it says, after getting stuck in the contraption, he tried various lubricants oh. to free himself. But, like, didn't ask for help? Well, I think he's a little embarrassed. Yeah, it's, that's pretty embarrassing. Right. After five days, he sought medical attention because the pain was excruciating. Wait, does he just live by himself? And apparently, they, I guess they wasted 25 saw blades trying to crack the metal tube open. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh my god. What kind of metal pipe was this? <laughs> Imagine a saw being that close. Oh to my your penis. god. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that, that's oh. that's them trying to perform the uh surgery. The doctor was saying that he did climax, so I guess that's that's good news. But <laughs> apparently all, at least it was worth it. <laughs> so sort of. Uh so all the blood got stuck at the top. So after the climax, the blood is supposed to go back down, but because of how tight the contraption was around his member, it could not go back to the proper glands, and that's why well, that's it began why it to rot. Uh, he could have lost his penis as the skin had rotted so badly, the tissue inside was visible. Ew. So, uh, but thankfully, I, I don't believe he lost his penis. Uh, he still has it. That's so, a miracle. Good luck to you, sir, and I hope you've learned your lesson. And I hope you find a girlfriend. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo, Lego. Bye. See ya.